Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to quickly program sounds in the new Reactor Synth rounds um, using a simple sound layering method. If you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be going over the new Complete 10 instruments all month long. Alright, so in this tutorial I'll show you how to take a simple sound. Um, this is one that I kind of stole from one of the presets that comes with rounds and modified slightly. And we'll turn it into something that sounds more like this. And I'll also show how we can make a simple chord sound. Alright, so again, I'm going to start with a slightly modified sound that I stole from a snapshot. But this technique can be used with pretty much any sound, and you get a similar effect where you can just take the sound and fatten it up, get it a little wider, and add like a kind of a chorus type effect to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this sound into three other slots in the analog engine. So I've got the sound um, loaded into analog engine one, and so you can just right click on that circle and drag to um, the two, three, and four slots in order to copy the sound three times. Next I'm going to activate all of the cells in sound block A and you can see that they have been loaded in to play back um, analog engines two, three, and four. And I'm using layer mode which means that whenever I play a note all of the cells in the active sound block are going to play at once. So now we have four engines that are all playing exactly the same sound at once, which just results in the sound being a little bit louder, but not much more than that. So in order to get a little bit more width on our sound, um, we can start making small edits to the engines so that each one is uh, slightly different than the last, which will just create a wider sound for us. So one very common parameter to use this on is the fine-tuning of the oscillators. So we can go through the various engines and change all of the pitches one by one. Um, but that's a little tedious. So we can also use the multi-edit screen, which we can access by clicking on the control button in the upper right-hand corner here. And this allows us to edit all eight synth engines at once. So if we click on the fine tuning, it'll let us edit the fine tuning for each synth one by one. And this is just a much smoother way of working. We get to edit everything at once. And we can also look at the values of the other engines while we're doing it to make sure that we are getting the effect that we want. So first I'm just gonna spread out the uh, fine tunings, so they each have a different pitch. Another thing that you'll probably want to do is to change the panning so that all of the uh, voices are going to be panned to a different area in the stereo field. And again, this will just give you a little bit more width with your for your sound. So now our four sounds are still really similar, but um, we have a little bit of variation with the pitch and the panning. And I suggest that you find at least one other uh, parameter to switch up a little bit in order to get all of your sounds being a little bit different. It'll create less of a phasey effect. Um, and so for this sound, I'm going to use the semi-tuning knob in the oscillator section. And we have oscillator 2 synced to oscillator 1, so what this is going to do is just kind of give us some extra overtones um, that are going to be slightly different for each sound that we have. All 
All right, so it's probably slightly different than the one I played for you earlier, but they should be pretty close. So if you check out the snapshots that come with rounds, you'll notice that a lot of the sounds, especially the ones in the lead folder, uh, use this technique or something similar to uh, layer a bunch of very similar sounds on top of each other. Uh, next, I just want to show you how to use the same technique in a slightly different way to create chord patches. So we'll start out um, by spreading the four sounds apart in the stereo field again. And then we're going to create a chord by making sure that each sound is playing back a different note, which we can do using the coarse tuning knob in the pitch section. So we'll tune up our four sounds, um, or the three additional sounds, by four semitones, seven semitones, and twelve semitones, and that'll give us a major chord. One other thing I like to edit when making chord patches is the filter cutoff for our respective voices. And so the voices that are pitched higher, I just like to make the cutoff a little higher for. And right now it's giving us a little bit more high end sound than I would like. So I'd like to move all of these four cutoff points down um, simultaneously. So we can link the knobs to be controlled by the knob from the first analog engine using the link buttons at the top of the multi-edit area. And now our cutoff knob from engine one will control all four of our sounds at once. All right, so this tutorial is just barely scratching the surface of what can be done in rounds. And the more creative you are, the more you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing around with it so far. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, please ask them in the comments. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. And we'll be back next week with a new Reactor tutorial.